Howdy. We have a, uh, another ECU here with no communication. This one is for a 03 Ram Cummins 5.9. And uh, it says that it lost communication after programming with a Smarty tuner. Uh, so first thing I want to do is just like the last video is I want to connect up to it and verify that we have no communication. Okay, so we're going to give it some power here. We're going to give it our ground. And we will give it ignition. Okay, and I see our current consumption looks normal. We'll go ahead and hook up the SCI. Because this is a 03, so it communicates on SCI. And we will go ahead and get the Autel going now. Alright, so we are into the system now. Took a while. I'm going to go ahead and select ECM and let's see if we can communicate. I hear the relays clicking for the pass through device. And usually when it starts clicking that much, that means it's not going to connect. But I, I will let it run its cycle. Uh, the full cycle takes a while if it doesn't connect right away. So, so it is official. It did not connect. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And um, pretty much what we're going to have to do is try to access it through BDM and uh, probably write some new program into it. Uh, I suspect that the programming is, uh, you know, from the tuner, it just messed up. So. Hopefully, if we can write some new programming to it, then uh, we can bring it back to life. It's a little bit different than the last video. Alright, so I've got it open here. Uh, I've got my CAS3 out. We're going to try to read it with CAS3. Uh, so I'm just going to clean this away a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to apply some solder to it just to make it easier for my wires to connect just like that <clears throat> okay now let's look into the cast software and see what we need to do All right, so I've already got it open here, and I've pulled up this so we didn't have to wait. We can see that uh, the top one is pad A, so we only got to hook up five wires, it says, and we need, let me see, which, which, which cable did we need? It says we need... Uh, T104 okay and it says to hook up a power supply I'm just going to leave the power supply I hooked up already I'm not going to hook up the cast one I don't, I don't know if it matters let's see if it works with what they have here so I'm going to pull up the T104 cable <clears throat> which I think I have it right here yep I do okay we're going to go ahead and plug it in just like that and I am going to look at the diagram that I was showing you to put this stuff on okay so we have blue right, right here so this one would be pin 1 or pad A they called it for some reason we're gonna put blue there at I would say pin 2 and then we're gonna put green right right here I see they're using the hard reset not the soft reset because that is a brown pin here and that's for the hard reset usually when I use X Pro, I use the soft reset maybe I should start using the hard reset maybe that's why I have issues writing the MPC like I can write the EEPROM and write the flash no problem well this one don't have a flash but the ones that do but I was having issues writing the uh, 
the NPC. That's why I'm trying to use Cass here. Maybe it's because I'm using the soft reset. I'm going to try the hard reset. Okay, so we have all our wires hooked up. Uh, I'm going to power it on. Okay, that's good. Now let's go to the software. Okay, so it says it was not identified, but I should be able to read a backup or write a backup, which is fine. I do want to read first because I want to read it and I want to compare it with the other ones that I have. Um, I don't think I have many for this ECU, tell you the truth. I can only have a couple, but we only need one good one, so hopefully that will be enough. Okay, so it is reading the micro, which is good. And now it's reading the EEPROM which is also good. All right, so now I'm gonna save this and we can investigate uh, to see if it's different. I mean, I can't remember the serial number right now. I'm just gonna put that. And I do wanna save them separately. Now that we've got it read and saved, I want to compare what we just read with a known good one, right? So I'm going to open up the EEPROM. I'm going to go here into this one. Okay, and I'm going to compare these two. Now, they're not going to be exact matches, but they should be similar. So like this one so far is looking pretty good. This one is the good known good file. It's missing the VIN because it was just after a flash. I hadn't wrote the VIN yet. That's, that's normal for that. Uh, looks good. Structurally, everything is the same for the EEPROM, so there's no problem in the EEPROM. Now, this is the flash, and this is where the programming is. And <clears throat> this is where the Smarty Tuner would be, you know, changing the way the engine is controlled. So this is where we should see our problem, and I think that we will. I think that we will see a problem here. I think we're going to see a lot of missing data in this top file here. There we go. Yeah, you see that? About halfway through, it just bricked out and wrote a bunch of nothing. So the bottom file is the good one again. Okay. So, and we can see, yeah, it's definitely our issue. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not sure if these were the same. Man, they look a lot like the same programming, to tell you the truth. Because usually a little bit of this would be different. But it's not. Everything is exactly the same until it breaked out. That would, that, That's pretty good news. Okay, I'm going to copy these two. These are the two known good ones. Okay, I'm going to copy those. And we're going to come here to this one. I'm going to paste this. Now, I need to write this exactly like how this one is. So I'm going to change this to Ori, which is short for original. Oh, I need to close this. Okay, and we're going to change the name of this one as well to Ori. And then we're going to change this one to serial number x, 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 x dot m, p, c. And we're going to change, is that, is that right? Yeah. And then we're going to change this one to serial number x, serial number x, 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 x dot EEPROM. Okay, so now, and we got to get rid of the bin, because Kess doesn't use bin, sorry. There we go. Yes. Okay, so I can close that. So now we're going to write the backup, and we're going to write, we're just going to click this, 
and this will find the files that I just replaced the old one with. So this will be the known good files being uploaded. And that should fix our problem, hopefully. Okay, so we are writing the micro pretty quick. We are writing the EEPROM, and that was just as quick. Okay. And I tell you what, let's see. I still have to write the VIN, and I'm just going to do that through EEPROM. Let me, um, sorry about that. It's kind of trippy there, I know. Um, let me, I'm going to un unhook this. Okay, I don't want to unsolder it yet because I, I do want to EEPROM the VIN number while we're hooked up rather than, you know, hook up my other scanner. I'm going to check with the auto to see if, well, let's see, sorry, this thing's not cutting off. Let me reset it like this. I wanted to reset the power on it. Okay, and then we're going to try to read it again with the auto to see if we have communication now and then after that I'll, I'll write the VIN number but I, I gotta double check and make sure the programming is the correct programming it, it might not be I might have to actually reflash it with the uh, Chrysler tool after this so so far even with the um, new programming written uh, it's still not working so probably what's happened is the tuner burn up the SCI communication halfway through the writing um, which is very common on these ECUs the 03 to 05 the SCI protocol die quite often in the main processor uh, it's a big problem with them and there's no fix uh, you know Aside from replacing the MPC and reprogramming everything, there's there's no fix for it, and uh, it, that's unfortunate. So you know, we we were able to verify that the programming was interrupted and didn't finish, and um, you know we were able to put you know complete known good programming back on there through BDM, but since the MPC SEI protocols are damaged uh, you know it's still it's still no good and uh, it's not the first time I've seen that I've, I've, this happens quite a bit where I can uh, you know still access everything through BDM but yeah well there you go can't fix them all